This year's WWE Universe mode has been upgraded with a lot of new options that allows you to fully customise your universe schedule any way you see fit by deleting the regular shows and replacing them with your own shows or by creating new shows on entirely different days. So if you want to move Smackdown back to Thursday nights, move Superstars to Friday and create Saturday Morning Slam on Saturday, now you can. When adding a new show you'll also get two options which allow you to specify the type of show you're creating. So you can set it as a major show like Raw or Smackdown with its own roster and championships or you can set it to be a minor show like Superstars which has a mixed roster allowing you to select which show's rosters compete on the show. Another new addition sees the option to add or remove pay-per-views each month as long as they take place on a Sunday. In regards to which roster appears on the show, you'll have the option of selecting up to two shows to appear. So you can select just one show to limit the pay-per-view to superstars from Smackdown for example, or you can select two shows to get matches featuring stars from both shows. You'll also get the option to set theme pay-per-views like the current day ones that mean your pay-per-view will be set to include Elimination Chamber main event matches if you theme it after Elimination Chamber or Money in the Bank matches if you theme it after Money in the Bank. Once you've set your TV or pay-per-view's name, you can also choose to give it a logo, of which there is all of the current TV and pay-per-view logos along with the Attitude Era counterparts and the option to add a custom logo if the one that you want isn't included by default. Aside from the show logos, there's also the current and classic WWE logos, the WWE Network and WWE Live Tour logos, the XFL, Hall of Fame, Divas, D-Generation X, Invasion and even next year's WrestleMania 29 logo. Aside from the logos, there's also all of the current era matchup screens, the custom ones from last year and a lot of the Attitude Era matchup screens, including the old Smackdown matchup screen so you can perfectly create an Attitude Era universe mode that features Raw, Smackdown and Heat using the in-game logos, matchup screens and custom arenas. Apart from customising your show, there's also additional options for Universe Mode that allow you to turn on or off specific types of stories, with options to turn on or off all stories, non-pay-per-view stories, team foreman and debranding stories, crowd reaction changing stories and also injury stories, which with these new options mean your favourite superstar won't be injured or out of action for long periods and you won't have to worry about your tag team randomly breaking up after you've spent time putting them together. Another new option sees the ability to modify hit point ratios for superstars so you can increase or decrease the strength of a superstar's head, arms, torso or legs which then affect how easy or hard it is to wear down those areas in matches. Additionally, something I didn't see but that was confirmed by Brian Williams is the ability to vacate championships and also set up matches for vacant championships. Speaking of championships, and any belts you create in the championship editor can also be assigned to a show, with Zack Ryder's internet championship also available to select. In regards to the storylines that you'll see in Universe Mode, Paul Heyman is the creative mastermind that is pulling the strings this year as he joined the creative team to come up with the stories that you'll see unfold. The biggest new addition to the storyline sees branching options available which allow you to choose an action to perform, as shown here as The Rock decides he doesn't need the help of Vince McMahon. Depending on your choice you'll see different scenarios play out which keeps things fresh and gives even more replayability at the mode as you'll want to choose a different option if the same scene pops up again so you can see how different the end result is compared with your first option. As far as these branching cutscenes go, there are new scenes, however some of the ones shown have been incorporated from the story designer, some of which were available last year, but in total there are now 200 new storylines to be seen in WWE 13. This year also sees Universe Mode upgraded to include full stats for everyone in the mode, so you'll see details for each superstar and championship, as well as rankings that list the top 10 superstars with the most wins, most matches played and match types. Going back to individual stats and Universe records each superstar's win-loss record, Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank wins, the time they've been active and the championships they've held amongst others, with further player stats also included in the main menu that track your own progress through the game such as your overall win-loss record, how you've won or lost your matches such as pinfalls, submissions etc and even a destruction count that records how many weapons you've destroyed which will help towards seeing how close you are to unlocking the likes of the Berserker achievement. Fans will also be glad to know that you can edit the match card in Universe Mode this year and save your edits instead of having to edit and play each match one by one, meaning you can now use the mode to recreate a full match card, save it and then play through it at a later date. 
Finally, THQ have also provided a reset option for Universe this year, so if you're tired of the changes and the storylines going on, you can use the option to reset Universe and start afresh.